Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Risk Awareness Week uh, 2021. We do encourage everyone who is watching the Risk Awareness Week to join one of very few uh, associations on the planet that actually deliver value and talk about risk management too. Uh, you know, in my mind, it's quite ironic that the only association that talks about proper quantitative risk analysis and decision making does not have the word risk in its title. So it's a good sign already because yeah. every association that has the word risk in the title is usually just risk management one. And I think it's really important to have enough information about the, the information and, and optionality because sometimes managers may think, well, I'm paying for this information. So it's funny how risk managers think and very different to how <laughs> humans think. If there's any questions around optionality, I might point out, this is, a, this is representative of an optionality because I have an uncertainty. So that, that it, 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 the rudimentary basis is the, the value of optionality. And there's a 30% chance of rain that we've understood. And we could buy an umbrella on the way out. I don't take the umbrella or buy the umbrella. This is the, the, indi the indicator from my information. Mm -hmm. I, guess I, I guess I lost my... Uh, I guess I lost, I know I had one in here earlier and I probably should have put one back in in here because I don't see how I get to this from this note. Various or different organizations, whether that to be the engineering department, the finance department, uh, uh, the tax people, whatever it might be. So you can see that that one's moving as well. So why don't we, why don't we plot those things? Once again, we'll plot some CDFs. Uh, SIPNAT does make histograms, but I don't really like the histograms. Yep. And with the... If I don't get the umbrella, I've got that 30% chance of rain. And if it rains, then I have to pay for the suit. And at this point in time, with this, this particular chance of rain, so we're going to come back here to this model. So what this 80% this reliability says that if it actually rains, this is reality over here. This is reality. Well, here is this chance of rain. And over here, there's a variable that says that if this random variable 0 0.62, 0 0.62 is less than H10, then there's no rain. And so if I went up to another trial here, we can always, the nice thing about uh, SIP math is it's, as you make a model, if you, if you want to test it, you can really Test it easily. So, so this is equals if this equals indicates rain, then we want to buy this for information, I guess. And it, it is quite difficult to pick up from that whether the model has an error inside it or doesn't because both answers look you know, reasonable. And um, it, it is absolutely critical to sanity check along as you go because you know, we've picked up so many different issues when we were building complex like environmental models. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad we're talking through the calculations. Otherwise I don't. I could have done this with binomial distribution, but I think a lot of people now, you see that H7 is not really very beneficial. So if I click on that and hit F9, it fills it in and then hit the enter key. And now it says, if the variable by umbrella info says big by umbrella, then I incur the cost of the umbrella. That's, that's, a, that's like an English statement. There's, there is one of your key outputs here. And these are expected values, by the way. What number would you give me or how would you calculate it? So even, even with the information, there can be a large cost. Should, should this formula be in this cell above? In 41. Well, maybe we think that's the right answer rather than this one. And so I make the assumption that the refinery can't run at all until I fix that unit. The best reference case is the lowest cost. Mm -hmm. And the lowest cost was this new information with the umbrella at 1164 versus 1334. And this is actually, uh, this is, this is very interesting and very on point. I mean, how can you, how can you back here, here, in other words, if I told you that the chance of rain was zero, 
<clears throat> if the chance is granular with zero, is there any reason why you would want to go get information if I don't take an umbrella? I didn't take these out to 100%, but adequate. I don't, the information, the information is not going to change my, my decision. Alex, uh, at this point in time, do you have some other questions that I could try to address for you? And the, the way we select those futures really influences our decision much more than the reality. And uh, this demonstration showed that buying or not buying information is actually a quantifiable question. Also getting additional information doesn't have to be a gut feel. Uh, you're the head trader, what's kind of, what's your feel? So yeah, exactly. I've got, I've got an ex, I've, I've got a, a field that I'm looking to develop 